I'm Rebecca Scandrit. I'm an interventional cardiologist. I work at St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury, Connecticut. So the team in the cath lab, they are great. I love working with them. They, number one, always put patient care first, which is the most important thing. Number two, they're great at what they do. Sick patient comes in, everyone knows their role. Everyone is acting and they're getting whatever needs to be done, done. Our numbers are, you know, on par with the best hospitals in the country. And I think that, first and foremost, is what I'm, you know, most proud of. Um, we're doing lots of great things in the cath lab. One of the newer techniques is the radial approach for doing cardiac catheterizations. The benefits of a radial cath approach are multifold. Uh, in first and foremost, the patient gets to sit up immediately after the procedure, which is great. Uh, it used to be that we would go in through the artery in the leg, and with that, you know, the patient would have to be in bed for four, six hours. Nowadays, most of my procedures, I would say 90% or greater, I'm able to go in through the artery in the wrist, put a small little tube into the artery, able to get my catheter up and around to the heart, and with that, look at the heart arteries and fix something if I have to. And I mean, I've had patients tell me at the end, what do you mean you're done, number one? And number two, where did you go? They, they don't even see it. And it's just, it's great, you know, just from a patient comfort perspective and also just from a complication perspective, there's a lot lower risk of bleeding when you go through the wrist. And as a result, we know lower bleeding means better long-term outcomes.